Hey guys, how you all doing? Hope you all well. Apologize for not having done um, any more videos, you know. Work and um, excuses, excuses. <laughs> and personal stuff, just keep us away from these extracurricular uh, cool hobbies that we like to do, like YouTube videos. Always starts at a hobby, right? Then it becomes more serious. But um, yeah, here I am again starting to do more video content and uh, I'll start showing you guys the car content you know it's a bit upgraded and uh, updated so uh, let's get to it <laughs> so last time um, I think I only had this RX-8 that I showed you guys at the time which is still running excellent fine excellent car I would buy it again and again okay if they weren't increasing in price um very cool running very well i can just leave it and just pick it up whenever i want it just runs fine so um after the rx8 i got myself a honda civic type bar uh, all the cars are a bit dirty right now because it's raining and uh, the public roads have been under construction so it's not even worth cleaning the cars right now. They just get dirty. So I will send you guys um, and make another video onto the channel. Uh, once we get them all cleaned up, okay? And uh, just need to like vacuum, you know, clean it outside and that. I always clean my cars here at home. So yeah, this is quite a cool car. Iconic FN2. Type R Honda Civic. I think it's very cool. Okay, uh, this is like the white. They're very red. See the white ones, especially where I live in this country. I don't see them a lot. I see them like in red, in black. Uh, then this is the Jeep Ursa. So it's already got painted, as you can see. I don't know if I showed this last time. I think I did. It's been painted. Uh, modified, fixed up almost all the things that it has to fix. Um, even got this little nice plate done. The interior is also different. Uh, I think I don't think they open the cars right now. I have to get the keys, open them up. I don't want to do it in a sunny day, you know. Got new tires, a bit of new everything, you know. Got to just vacuum it inside. Got seat belts on the seats, new seats. Okay, built from scratch, roll bars, speakers, a whole lot. It's very good to drive. Very cool. Much more comfortable than it used to be. And quite a rare piece. You know, you don't get a lot of these worldwide. So yes, it's quite a, a pretty cool 4x4. I want to change this grill because this grill... Um, they bent it on purpose so you can put their hand underneath the bonnet to open it, you know, to press the latch. But I'm going to change this one, I have another one. It's more straight, more like, um, you know, more like Brutus, you know, more serious. <laughs> so that should be also cool. And then I got myself a Raptor as well, you know. So I prefer this older model than the new one. I just think it looks more sporty in terms of the look. I like more this like sporty look. The other one is very cool as well, don't get me wrong. It's just a this look than the other one. It was also cheaper, but I just like this round sporty look, you know. It's just me. But the other one looks fantastic. Um the sheer Mostly the same platform. The interior, of course, you guys know this one. The other one's much more technological driven. Uh, but I like my things more simple, you know, less problems. So, yeah. So, I bit this little... Um, it's not like an air along. <laughs> but it's cool to, like, open the trunk, you know. Open, close, and it protects the paint. So, this was very cool. Very easy to install. You know, then you can even paint. I didn't even paint mine because I just like this matte look that it's got, you know. Natural plastic matte look. Um, this I can actually tell you guys where to get it. Um, and, uh, yeah, supporting quite well. 
I could have got it painted like in the color. But it just goes well with this mountain top, you know. It just seems all the same. Um, and like that you can just scratch it or whatever, it doesn't matter. And if you just damage it, buy a new one. It's cheap. So, um, also got a carpet, but it's all closed up. Then I'll show you guys on a better video. Got sunshine, not rain. And then there's another little cheapy car. I also like more the side step on this one. It just attracts me better, this one. Really like it. And then we got this little Citroen Saxo cup. Okay. So this is a little cool, little fast um, hatchback, which I got some used red seats, which are better than the original ones. Um, the original seats, they were um, very bad shape. So um, there was this guy selling these ones that came from the Evolution Limited series, which was like a modified version of this, with some modified um, components and accessories that didn't come with these ones from factory. Uh, it's quite a little cool little rally style hatchback. Because what is used for rally, and it still is used a lot for rally races, you know, amateur races, um, track racing. It's really cool. Very nimble, it's got the B12 Bullstein shocks in it. I'll show you guys on a sunny day as well. Uh, These seats need to get like refurbished and everything. I'm trying to recoup the car, you know, get it all properly done, um, keep it the most original I can. Uh, one get also white mags for it, you know, get them in white, that should be cool. The exhaust, I had a big one, but the cops told me, no, 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 get it off. <laughs> so I had to get it off and change it for um, a more silenced one, you know, original one. It's got the head exhaust, although, already changed, hair pulls on. You can't do a lot on these cars, you know, the cops just keep on battling people on these cars. Because uh, they used to be a lot used for racing purpose and everything. Yeah, let me get the keys. So it's just used a lot for racing. And the cops are always eyeballing this car more than any other car now. So as you see, these seats are Evolution series seats. So this guy had them stored away in a garage so i just took them because they're the original they are cup seats for the cup from the cup they were just like upholstery different for this limited series that they did um i think it was in switzerland so i just said yeah, that's cool i like the red anyways because you got the cup sign that is red everywhere you know this little cup red here and all that stuff you know so i just think that's all the red just keeps on coming together on this car. The red. When the lights are on red, you know, radio. So I also got this in red. So I'm just going for the red. <laughs> so yeah, it's a very cool hatchback. Weighs like almost less than 900 kilos. So it's just very nimble fast. And with the dampers, the B12 dampers, all time that they have, they are just excellent to drive. They really are. See, 16 valve. See, got this green filter, air filter. But you can't have the scoop. The cops also, if they saw that, they would have given me problems. So these cars, the cops don't want you touching. Okay, it's got the head exhaust. Okay, it's stainless steel. Cause the other one was too close to everything heating it up. I have to change the oil radiator as well. It's really got a new one, but I'm going to change the one that you can build in front of the radio so that it keeps more cool. Um, and that's about it. Anti torsion bar because you have to do this if you're going to build a stiffer suspension. Um, it's just much safer. It doesn't let the chassis bend, you know. Especially with the harder suspension, I think it's something you really have to do. So, yeah, very cool. I built already the two fans it only came with one fan but i bit double that was very hard that was not easy at all because um it wasn't for this model so i had to change the wires and everything good thing we know about 
good old Sonic stuff. Um, but yeah, that's about it. This came with the upholstery, but I took it out. Because it wasn't in very good shape. So what I want to do is one day just paint the car, you know. Get it all painted. And um, yeah, give it a little refurbish. That should be cool. Alright. This is the old machine that I'm working on right now. I just think it would be a cool project to show you guys. Uh, oldie, you know, machine, very bad shape. It's already painted. Um, I already painted the underneath it. Okay. Let's see if I can show you guys. In a, nope, I cannot show you guys. Oh, I can switch on. No. Let's see, maybe like that. Yes. So already painted it a light gray underneath. Okay. Uh, then I'll tilt the machine for you guys. So that's already done beneath it. Um, and now, yeah, now I want to see if I can put like a red, paint it all red, you know, to look like vintage. It will be cool for you guys to see the before and then the after. Um, and I still got the van. Yes. Um, very nice van, these little VWs. They are quite cool. And they can do just your normal daily work to work stuff, visit clients. Very reliable, very good, very nice. Yes, there's a new one out, much more expensive. This one's just still rolling, it also needs a, a wash. Still rolling, so yeah, it's very cool. And here Sasha, the other dog already died, the small little one that you guys saw, used to see on the videos. And Sasha shame, it's the second time she's been operated. She's got like these tumors that are growing on the side of her cheek. So she took out the first time, now it's the second time. And yeah, so um, the first op she did, she stayed quite nice. I don't want to be showing you guys, you know, the little saw and that's not cool. So yeah, she's doing good, second op. You know, God willing, all will go well. And uh, she won't have to do it again. Hey, Sasha. And now she, we're going to do a barbecue. So she's just interested in food. She loves eating. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Let me show you guys what I'm doing at the bottom. So I've got like a greenhouse thing trying to do, you know. Vegetables and everything. I think that's quite cool nowadays, you know. Just for the environment and everything. Be bio-friendly. Let me show you guys. So this garden didn't have anything, um, it was just grass and dirt and it had no structure whatsoever and uh, now I'm um, doing these pavements right here, got already the water here distributed, uh, I need to take care of this water draining situation here, it just accumulates water you know, so I have to take care of that somehow. Gonna make some holes into the ground and let's see if I can just like get rid of all this accumulation here. Yeah. Uh, not until the tubes, you know, but I just don't want it to accumulate because of mosquitoes and stuff. So yeah, doing this uh, pavement right here, doing this white, um, these white stones, mixture with different colors. So it's been a quite cool experience I've been doing on my, like, um, as a hobby, you know. My spare time, I always have to keep busy. So uh, now I want to make this of this a greenhouse, you know, with vegetables, which I already planted. Got here my steel, um, steel tubes, so I can put that uh, water tank on top, accumulate water, so I can do some um, automatic uh, to water all the vegetables and everything. Got one little chicken chair, very old. She must be like six years old already. Um, so I'm going to fix this up as well with some cement here, because now I'm doing the pavements. I'm going to put cement all across there, cement that part down there, okay. And uh, where she's sleeping, I'm going to improve it as well a lot. So, and I'm going to get new chickens to keep her company, because she's a lunchtime. So that's also what I'm going to do. And uh, yeah, so it's a little like walking track I'm trying to do here all around the garden you know make a little track around the garden and uh, now I just want to connect this part of the pavement right here 
this part of the pavement here. I'm gonna connect it into the greenhouse. Okay. So yeah, we got our uh, raspberries, blackberries, tomatoes starting to grow here. We got our lettuce, parsley, beetroot. Not beetroot, sorry. Uh, I don't know what you call that in English. I'll search it out. <laughs> Eggplant. That's eggplant right there. Uh, no, that no. That's eggplant right there. That is. Uh, I've got to check that one out as well. On Google, that is called bell pepper. So that's what I'll call it. <laughs> um, more letters and this one here. Chives right there. Those are the older ones we got. That's why they're so big. Uh, more letters, they're tiny babies, these ones. And then we got bigger ones, but they are really growing. They really got attached to the ground, they're happy. Got some chocolate peppermint uh, down there. Right down there, chocolate peppermint right there. That's just a nice, nice smell. And um, we got our normal cabbages to make the soup for, you know, food in general. I will show you what we use them for so that would be cool you know to show you guys um, how to use it and recipes and everything more little tiny letters there so I just put them out you know they're gonna be good big um, we got some watermelon right here here we have some beans that are growing strawberries in seeds banana plants you don't put them out there so she's so small Wait a bit, and we got our beans also growing there. Um, so here in Portugal, normally we mix the melons with the uh, bell peppers. We put a melon, a bell pepper, a melon, a bell pepper, you know, and uh, it's a really nice taste. So yeah, I'm gonna cover this up, this whole thing, and make it um, a greenhouse, you know, so that in winter you can continue planting all the vegetables, you know, and make some hedges. To um, open up in the summer because you can't close up the greenhouse in summer, or else it just like buffers all the vegetables. Clean, raining, um, and cold. <laughs> you know, I chose the, the, the worst day to make a video. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about it, guys. So, this is today. Oh, now I got stuck here. Okay, now I'm not stuck. Yeah, I put this pavement going through the tree here. I don't have much space. I can't go around because the truck has to come and uh, put some more, lay some more sand and and everything pebbles, you know. So I ask them normally to put all the stuff here, and then I do it myself, you know. Sometimes with help, other times with no help. So yeah, show you guys that we try to do a bit of everything, you know. So I think this will be a cool project to keep on showing you guys as well. Just to give some different content, you know. Very easy to do your own building structures and everything. It's just all about practice. You can do whatever you want in life, you know. If you really just apply to it. So I already got water here. I didn't have any type of water in the middle of the garden. So I'm going to put this tank on top of the greenhouse. Right there on top, you know. Just going to reinforce the whole thing. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. You guys can get some ideas. Here, yeah. I want to make a small swimming pool out of this one. Build a bridge all the way to the other side, um, to this tank right here, and make from this a swimming pool. So it will have a bridge connected to this small one. So this should be a hobby of mine. Projects. See how it goes. <laughs> and now, right now, just doing here the barbecue. We got meat inside already. See what type of meat we have here. Oh, right now we're doing mushrooms. Okay. And now some sausages. Some very big mushrooms. And then just put the meat on it. This is the. So this is the mushroom. Here we do outside. That's bigger.
Yep. And there you go. I'll bob it. Got some banging it. Very nice. Can't you tenderize the other steaks? Can't force it too much, gotta be quick, you know. That's about it. So, rainy day, just um, doing this barbecue. You know, getting a bit stressy there. It's gotta be quick. And um, see you guys on the next video. We'll be very soon. Okay? Just keep on doing more videos now. And um, yeah, keep on watching, guys, subscribing. Thanks. It was a great day.